I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a pink pig. I take two fingers right here in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line out, curve line in, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, curve line out, curve line down, curve line in, connect. Right here on the left I draw a curve line down off my paper. Come over on the right, curve line down off my paper. Come up to the left, up here at the top, and we're going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, connect. Come over here on the right, curve line out, curve line in, connect. I come right about here and I put a dot and from that dot I draw a curve line, keep going, keep going, connect. Inside I put one dot, two dots. Right above I put on the left side one dot, two dots on the right and big curve line little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the only thing I need is a pink crayon. Now pigs come in different colors, but because this is for the color pink, we're going to use pink for the whole entire pig. So this is just one time where I would say yes let's use all use the same color. Now I'm going to come inside and I'm going to do my loop-de-loop -loop line and what that is is you take your crayon and you go around and around and around to fill in the whole space that we just drew and this makes it easier for you to fill in a big space without coloring so hard it hurts your hand. So it's a good thing to learn how to do this kind of line filler. Okay? So I'm going to do all of these spaces. I don't want to do it too dark and lose all my details. Now I come down and I do the space down below. Same thing. Loop-de-loop -loop on the inside to fill in these big spaces with color. Bring it all the way down, bring it all the way over. And then you can stop and look at it and go, hmm, looks like I need a little bit more here, maybe a little bit more here, and you can make your adjustments. Now the last thing I'm going to do is take my pink and just draw some straight lines in the background to finish my drawing. Don't draw through your drawing. This is the background. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my pink pig all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.